फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी गो बैक टू आर सेटअप एंड मेंटेनेंस टास्क और दिस रूल्स एंड रूल्स सो हियर यू हैव टाइम मैनेजमेंट एज अ पर्सन हु इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिंग द टाइम मैनेजमेंट पीस इट कुड बी अ टाइम कीपर और इट कुड बी द टाइम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर दे टिपिकली विल हैव एक्सेस टू काइंड ऑफ डिफाइनिंग दीज रूल्स so on the right hand corner at the bottom you will see something called as manage rule templates rules rule sets and rule analyze rule processing uh, uh, what you call uh, definitions or details so i will explain you what this analyzing rule or processing details is but the first step rule templates there is, we we have this this is going to be covered in detail as a part of our activities but to just give you a brief of right now since we are on the same topic you can define a rule template so what it does as i told you that a rule template mm -hmm. eventually will have something called as a rule classification uh, then it will have a formula and whether it's a calculation rule or whether it is uh, an entry rule it will have the trigger the, that uh, can be used as a part of the rule it will have parameters it will have output it will have an explanation we will see each of these in detail so when we actually go and define a custom uh, rule template it will be uh, what you call clear to you for now i will explain you how you define a particular rule and how a rule set can be then they eventually created so let me just take you to the step where i actually go and define a rule and a rule set so this is that page manage rules i want to go and define a rule so when i define a rule i select what is the template type and the rule template name so suppose my ask is that that when an employee is trying to fill in time it should not be less than 30 hours as a part of the overall weekly time as a minimum 30 hours per week i will name it so that it becomes clear okay now what i select is i define whether it's a time entry rule time device rule is basically when we touch base upon time device configurations uh, we will come to that but typically from a system point of view when you are using a uh, fusion time and labor when employees are going to put in key in time you will generally use time entry rule and time calculation rules you say it is a time entry rule this is where these are the predefined rules i have not yet defined any custom rule template suppose i have i am using this period minimum hours template i will go into this template when we actually uh, i mean uh, finish this rule configuration and show what eventually it is getting triggered or what is the formula behind that so when i define a new rule i select the template type based on the template type the relevant rule template will come in so what has what has happened the based on the template i have selected it has shown or uh, it has pre populated the explanation and it has pre populated the classification and what is the uh, rule parameters for that so 
for example it is 30 hours per week minimum rule now what does this explanation show it shows that when the total reported hours for the time category that we select are less than the number uh, 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 minimum defined limit hours then it displays the message code so this is coming in from the rule template actually this all setup will be done when we create a rule template but just to give you a feel of uh, how eventually it will happen is eventually a rule gets tagged to a set rule set so I say that this is the explanation now here here is where uh, the particular parameters will come in so these are basically the parameters uh, uh, that are uh, going to be there as a part of that formula so my formula says that I need minimum R so this R is basically my mandatory parameter if you see required yes so I need to give some value to it uh, as a part of the rule parameter and I have this message displayed so this is not you may want to don't have any messages you just uh, I mean generally you don't have this scenario so you want to select a particular message so let's say I select system comes in with predefined messages So Sachin, uh, if I understand this correctly, uh, can I just ask a question now or do you want to wait? Sure, you can go ahead. Tell me what is the question. So the template is where you, so okay, so I'm going to make a couple of uh, sentences. If the, if the template was not defined, there was no way as a user I could have interacted with the fast formula. So because fast formula is all coding, so if I had to interact and give hard coded values, uh, if, if, so if, if I have to give the values and interact with the formula, I need a template because without which I don't see all these three parameters in the, it's like a report parameter. So, um, so now I can create oh. multiple rules here based on whatever my requirements are. For union A, union B, I can have two different rules using the same template. Absolutely. So yeah, so this brings, yes, exactly. So this brings to back to this Excel. So your step one is defining a formula. Typically this step is going to be done by someone who knows fast formula or coding. Now rule template is basically you specify whether it is going to be a time entry rule, time calculation rule, what messages you want. Uh, uh, as a part of the particular uh, validation what is going to be your uh, uh, parameters that you want as a part of the uh, validation or calculation so all that you ca come and define in a rule template formula it just basically uh, reads the values and it will uh, say I mean give an output so this is where you define a rule template and then eventually a rule template is used in a rule and a rule is mapped to a group of rules becomes a combina a part of a rule set and uh, eventually a pro processing profile. So, so the actual place where you put the 30 hours is step 3 and that's where and uh, step 2 is a place where you create a provision for that input which is called yes. number yes. of hours. Yeah, yes. So for example the purpose of this template now uh, here I am saying that my uh, rule is minimum 30 hours per week rule now I could use this as a part of the payroll team but for example projects now projects wants uh, uh, a rule or for example uh, not projects I will not give you an example of module suppose uh, an X location says that I want minimum 30 hours but a Y location says the, that I want the people to uh, work uh, uh, minimum let's say 35 hours. Mm -hmm. So that will help you uh, leverage the concept of this rule template. So the template is very generic in nature which says okay uh -huh. what the template does is basically just uh, takes in the number of hours and uh, the formula just uh, uh, checks uh, what is the limit 
minimum and maximum and it will then compare it with that. So the framework that Oracle has given is pretty flexible where you your formula itself ideally should be a reusable formula which will help you define multiple templates and eventually multiple rules using the same template. Got it. So I think this, this formula, I think the point where uh, 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 the formula that Oracle has provided here and looks like from what I see from the template is that it also returns not only daily value but also weekly value. That's why it is it can be referred into two different templates for weekly yes. template and uh, yes. so yeah. So what it will ultimately do? It will not return any value as such. What it is doing? It is it the it is have this threshold formula which Oracle has given. It's the input is limit which I put in whether it is minimum hours or maximum hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it just uh, checks what is the imp what is that limit uh, thirty. Now, uh, whether it's minimum or maximum, you are specifying that minimum 30 or maximum 50, etc. And what it does, uh, it checks in what is the sum total uh, of all the week for weekly. And it uh, it will only return typically whether it is uh, the output as yes or no. Uh, so when we go into the formula, ideally the formula is written in such a fashion that it only checks the value and it says whether that it is beyond that threshold or not. If it is beyond that threshold, then it basically uh, triggers a particular uh, message. So it is okay. not actually going and ha hard coding, comparing it with anything. I mean, it is very generic in nature, which says that uh, summation level. So my summation is at the time card level. And at the time card level, mm -hmm. after it, uh, it is uh, doing the summation, it is just checking what is that summed value. If it is less than this particular parameter, uh, then it will uh, throw this particular error message. 